Hey, Coach, uh, it, it seems like Lamar came back sort of, you know, with some fresh legs and, and rejuvenated. And, you know, you know, what did you see in that game from Lamar and what are you guys uh, having to deal with and trying to contain him a little bit on Monday night? Yeah, obviously that is a problem. <laughs> you know, he, he looked good, like looked like himself. Um, this based on their offense, the offense is built around them. Um, and even when you do things right and you're in the right spots, that one guy has to make the tackle on them. And that's what makes it difficult. So when you watch teams try to defend them, you know, they have guys in the right spots. They just can't get them on the ground. So we really have to be good with our scheme. Uh, we have to get multiple guys around them in order to contain them. And then, you know, the other element of, of him being uh, able to run is that so many guys are worried about the run. It opens up the pass game. So we just have to be smart, execute our job, and just get a lot of guys to the football. Thank you. Thank you, Mary Kay. Next is Nate Ulrich. Hey, Coach, uh, what did you think of what Miles was able to give you in his first game back? And do you think he'll kind of have his legs under him even more, you know, in this coming game? Yeah, we definitely appreciate having him out there. It makes you feel good, especially when you're calling defenses. Um, but uh, he he played a lot of snaps. He was definitely tired after the after the game. I went right to him. How you feeling? You know, I'm tired, Coach. But uh, we knew that was going to be uh, part of him coming back off of you know the COVID. Uh, this week, uh, he'll he'll be in better shape. Uh, he'll have more practices under his belt, and he should be good to go. And obviously, um, you know, a, a big uh, takeaway from that game was your use of five defensive linemen. Mm -hmm. um, just how uh, happy were you with the execution when you guys went that way? And I think that is something you can, you know, kind of, you know, sprinkle in moving forward and have that I I as a weapon. Uh, definitely. Um, that's what we talked about as well. Um, it's something that we have within our defense. Um, we run it more on situations. So we kind of added to the package. It was something I was familiar with. Um, you know, when I was back in Denver, uh, it was a good game plan uh, for those guys. I think early on we defended the, wet, the run well enough and we got the lead um, just based on what our offense was doing that they got out of the, you know, run play action mindset, which helped us. Thank you, Nate. Scott Petrick, you have our next question. Hey, Joe, when you talk about how tough it is to Kind of corral Lamar. Is there like how do you describe him as a runner? Because you know, you know, you watch him play Tuesday. It's not like he avoids contact. Like sometimes he kind of seeks it out, and then sometimes he just runs away from guys. Like how do you even process that? Just electric. I mean, you you guys see it. It looks like he's playing at a different speed than uh, you know anybody else on the field. And he's a, a dynamic player whenever he's running the ball. And just over the years. Um, he's definitely throwing the ball. Uh, you can see him go through his progressions on on tape. You can see him make accurate throws. And, I mean, we just have to be on top of our technique. And it's it's not one guy getting them down or two guys. I mean, we need all 11 to get to the ball because he's going to make guys miss. It's going to happen. Uh, you just have to be – you have to acknowledge it, but you just can't give up the big one. And then you guys did such a good job against Derek. Um how different is the Ravens run game because I have the Lamar aspect of it? Yeah, the whole system, again, is built around him. Um, and they do some very unique, unique things in the run game. Um, you have to be very, very sound. Uh, they really make you play gap responsibility football with a lot of stuff telling you to do something else. So their running game is uh, very effective just because of the threat of him keeping the ball, as well as their ability to run it. All three of their backs, uh, you can see they can all run well. They all run downhill. They run with power. They can make you miss. Um, so it's very tough to deal with. Thank you. Thanks, Scott. Marla now we'll go to you. Yeah, my question is kind of along those same lines. J.K. Dobbins seems to be coming on strong. Is he a little bit – can you see that? And what is unique about him as far as what you have to look for and stop? Yeah, he's, he has great balance of body control. Uh, you can see the speed. So he can run around the edge and beat you with speed or he'll, he'll try to run you over. You see both on tape. Uh, but when you put it all together, again, with all, everything they do with the misdirection in the run game, uh, the ability to 
for the quarterback to keep it. You know, he's he, he's running the ball with some big holes in there. So <laughs> we're going to have to make sure that, again, we just execute our responsibilities and really just try to limit uh, limit the explosive gains. And are you, is it looking like you'll have Tedrick Thompson to help out? We're going to keep evaluating that every day um, just to see if we can get him up to speed. So we'll evaluate him today, tomorrow, and then make a decision. Thanks. Thank you, Marla. Tom Withers is next. Thanks, Rob. Hey, Coach, I won't get you in trouble with the NFL here, but let's just say that Miles got held a couple of times that they missed on Sunday. I was just curious, does he make it hard for them to officiate him because of that leverage and that lean and that bend? Is it almost like Shaq or LeBron? There's kind of a different set of rules for him? I don't know. I, you know, at times, you you know, you wish they had thrown the flag a little bit more, but I feel like they, the, the officials do a good job. You know, we... Every coach calls for for flags, you know, but it's really it's it's part of the game. It happens up front. It happens in the back end. It's just something as a player you got to acknowledge and you just have to play through it, especially you know, with all the uh, protection that's going to go Miles' way. Gotcha. And we all know Miles a little bit. I, I guess that he doesn't complain about that when it happens. Not at all. He knows. He understands. He's got to he's got to play through it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Tom. Dan Lobby, you have our next question. Hey, Coach, we see this sometimes with quarterbacks that can run. When they get on the sideline, sometimes defenders are a little bit hesitant to maybe hit them. And mm -hmm. those guys will take a little bit of advantage of that and get a couple extra yards. How do you kind of coach your guys to balance, you know, getting that guy down or getting that guy out of bounds, but also not drawing a flag? Yeah, you just have to be smart. And, you know, we talk about it, especially with him. Because he's a guy, you know, talking about Lamar, where he'll run and you think he's going out of bounds. And you see him stop and guys run right past him. So we have to make sure if, if he is in bounds, you know, we're going to do everything legally to get him on the ground. We just have to finish really to the echo of the whistle. And, and then I also wanted to ask about MJ Stewart. You know, he's mm -hmm. been kind of in and out, gets his opportunity the last couple of weeks and comes up with that big pick. I mean, you have a sense of pride when a guy kind of steps up and gets a chance to make a play like that? Yeah, I really love this this defense, this team, because I feel like we fight every week, and I feel like we're getting different uh, contributors every week. And I talked to you guys before, you know, this beginning of the season, I just felt like this is the year that everybody's going to have to play. And he stepped in, you know, multiple times this year and has done a nice job, and I feel like he's getting confidence, and uh, he's getting better, and who knows who the next guy's going to be, you know. But uh, I was really proud of how he played and happy for him. Thanks. Thanks, Dan. Next is Nate Ulrich. Hey, Coach. Uh, speaking of guys uh, stepping up, uh, you know, Sheldon Richardson had huge plays early in that game. So just what what did you think of those? And, uh, you know, what has he meant to you guys that, you know, may not necessarily be as obvious as, as those moments? Yeah, I love Sheldon. He is a great player for this team. Uh, he comes to work, always happy. You know, the jokester guy keeps everything light. Uh, but when it's time to go play, he plays. And he's played at a high level for a long time. And we actually moved him uh, last week. We played him out more on the tackle, you know, in, uh, in that position. And he plays a little differently uh, technique-wise. So we talked about it all week. And the play he made, the uh, or forced the fumble on, is exactly what happened during the week. So uh, I just really – Appreciate having him on the team, coaching him, and I, I feel like he's played well this year for us. Thank you, Nate. We have time for one more question. Anthony Posal, go ahead. Hey, Coach. I just was curious, how much, if any, of that week one tape have you watched this week, and, and what are some of the biggest areas of improvement you've seen in the defense since then? I mean, obviously turnovers have been a big thing, but has anything else really stood out to you since then and just kind of reflecting on how far the defense has come since that, that very first game? Yeah, I think we've come a long way just in terms of <clears throat> figuring out what we do well. Um, uh, looking back at that game, you know, it felt like we really playing, you know, just thinking, I remember walking onto the field, nobody in the stands uh, with everything going on. I just felt, felt early on, uh, we just didn't perform well. Um, I didn't feel like I had uh, a great game calling it. So just looking back at it, you can see the areas that we did well and you can see the areas that we can clean up. And I feel like we've progressed just in terms of what we're doing. So I feel like this, this game will be a little bit better prepared to play these guys.